Yeah, I think that we still have a long way to improve the, you know, the, the public's perception about this um, this particular condition. You know, depending on the age of the person that you're talking to, there's still a lot of prejudices that people have um, about epilepsy, about people with epilepsy. I think, you know, as a surgical epileptologist myself, I think that one of the greatest things that I would like to see is greater awareness just within our neurology com community about um, people's candidacy for epilepsy surgery because um, this is a very, very underutilized intervention, you know, given the number of people with refractory uh, focal epilepsy out there, um, many, many people could potentially be candidates for um, surgical intervention. And there is definitely a treatment gap in terms of, again, the number of people who are eligible for epilepsy surgery versus the number of people who are actually referred to level four comprehensive epilepsy centers. So, you know, in the name of epilepsy awareness, I would actually i mean like again there's there's public perception but there's also epilepsy awareness in the medical community that i think could be better um, again just so that we can help bring these people to um, to surgical evaluation sooner i think that a lot of epileptologists have different ideas about what is causing that treatment gap um, you know is it just it, it takes it's a lot of effort you know to refer somebody it's a lot of effort to um, to embark on a comprehensive epilepsy surgery evaluation you know it's it's a you have to dedicate a lot of time and effort into you know ordering these tests interpreting these tests and counseling the patient because you know the patient and their families because it's it's not a single conversation that you have um, but you know it can be very very worthwhile I mean you can really make a life-changing difference I think that again like there are far-reaching um, I think there there are developments that are cooking you know in so many different aspects of epilepsy management epilepsy diagnosis again like that's why I mean, I may be biased as an epileptologist as an academic epileptologist but I find every single one of these things very exciting I mean I mean we're making great strides even in terms of diagnosing uh, genetic etiologies of epilepsy um, to the point where we recommend that people have repeat genetic testing every few years because of the new mutations that have been identified. The, the, the points that I would really you know, like to make would be, again, refer your patients. You know, um, Again, the Institute of Medicine recommends that people who have been diagnosed with, say, drug-resistant epilepsy be referred to a level four comprehensive epilepsy center for um, surgical evaluation. Um, know that your friendly neighborhood academic center is likely a, um, you know, a, a study site for one of these studies. So again, have a low threshold. I would like to appeal to the people out, you know, the neurologists out in the community that if they have a particularly challenging patient, there are likely studies that are looking for um, patients to enroll um, in order to really, you know, make these groundbreaking discoveries and bring new medications to to the public. So don't has I would say like, you know, don't hesitate to reach out to the, again, like the nearest academic center to see what um, what other studies or interventions their patients can um, can participate in, and not to wait.